we are trying to understand the basic trade model and we have been looking at the two good case in the previous lecture video i provided an intuitive understanding when we are looking at two goods and now what we do is we look at all this in terms of diagrams and once we are done with that we'll move on to the formal trade models we know that differences in autarky prices become the basis for foreign trade now think for a moment why would autarky prices be different across countries this could happen because of factors on the consumption side or this could happen because of factors on the production side in terms of theoretical models of foreign trade almost all models have focused on the production side factors as being the reason for differences in autarky prices across countries and so though we understand and recognize that it may be consumption side factors which could create a difference in autarky prices for most part we believe it is the production side factors and so that is what we will look at now since we are looking at production side i had introduced you to the concept of ppc and here what we'll do when we look at explanation of foreign trade through diagrams we'll look at initially the example of a straight line ppc or where the ppc reflects constant cost and then we'll move on to a ppc which is concave to the origin or that ppc represents increasing cost principle so as of now we'll focus on constant cost principal ppc now consider the following diagram for the us we are looking at two goods clothing and food and this blue line represents the ppc for the us and since it is a straight line that means it exhibits constant cost principle and this ppc tells us the following if us uses all its resources to produce food the maximum amount it can produce of food will be 2000 if instead the us decided to devote all its resources to production of clothing the max amount of clothing this us can produce will be 4000 units this purple curve represents the community indifference curve and you know in the case of straight line ppc this point of tangency will represent equilibrium for the us in autarky and since we are looking at autarky that means production and consumption of each item must be equal and so the us will produce and consume 3000 units of clothing and 500 units of food in autarky we already know about equilibrium in autarky in the us and we know ea represents equilibrium in autarky and and here equilibrium in autarky represents consumption equilibrium as well as production equilibrium and so we know 3000 units of clothing will be produced and consumed in the us in autarky and 500 units of food will be produced and consumed in the us in autarky now you look at the slope of this ppc how much is that it will be 2000 divided by 4000 and what will the slope of ppc represents it will represent the relative price of clothing in the us in autarky and how much will that be that will be 1/2 yeah. now us is originally or initially in autarky and now it decides to engage in foreign trade and what it finds out is that the world price relative price of clothing is given by this green line and as you can see this green line which represents 
relative price of clothing in the world market is steeper than what we had in autarky or in other words pc by pf in the world market must be greater than one half and one half represents the relative price of clothing in the us in autarky so with foreign trade the relative price of clothing goes up and based on what we know from the previous lecture we know the us will export clothing and import food now let us look at this in terms of this diagram when the us accepts the world price as given by this green line where will be production equilibrium it will be at this corner point this corner point and this will be production equilibrium what about consumption equilibrium it will be given by the point of tangency between community indifference curve and this world price line so this will be consumption equilibrium so what happens when you have international trade there is a wedge between production and consumption equilibrium so given this is the production equilibrium point how many units of clothing will be produced by the us with international trade it will be 4000 and how much food will be produced by the us it will be zero what about consumption equilibrium for the us us will consume 2000 units of clothing and 2100 units of food now look at the following us produces 4000 units of clothing and consumes 2000 units of clothing with international trade and so the difference between these two will represent the export of clothing by the us now look at food us produces no food but consumes 2100 units of food so the us must be importing 2100 units of food now some important points that emerge from the previous diagram which i have reproduced here number 1 is in this situation what we are looking at is the relative price of clothing is higher in the world market relative to what it was in the us before international before it engaged in international trade and the second thing you notice is look at the location of this community indifference curve this community indifference curve is further away from the origin relative to what we had in autarky and since community indifference curve represents welfare of the citizens living in the us that means with international trade in an overall sense the society is much better off by being on a higher community indifference curve the third thing you will you can infer based on this diagram is the following we have looked at a constant cost ppc or what we have is a straight line ppc and since we have a straight line ppc look at the production equilibrium it happens at this corner point this what this means is the following when you have a straight line ppc or a constant cost ppc with foreign trade the us produces only clothing and no food so when you have constant cost ppc what this implies is we will have complete specialization in production of one good and for the us it will be clothing now let us explain foreign trade in the case of two goods from the perspective of india and if india uses all its resources the maximum amount of clothing it can produce is 800 units and if it devotes all its resources to the production of food the total amount of food produced by india will be 2400 so once again we have this constant cost ppc 
for India. And here is the purple color curve is the community indifference curve for India. And EA prime represents equilibrium in autarky in India. And since we are looking at equilibrium in autarky, what this means is production and consumption equilibrium coincide or production equals consumption of each good. And this is what you find in India, 300 units of clothing will be produced and consumed and 1500 units of food will be produced and consumed in autarky. Once again, for India, EA prime represents equilibrium in autarky and in autarky India is producing 300 units of clothing and 500 un 1500 units of food. Now suppose India decides to engage in foreign trade so it faces a world price line given by this green line <clears throat> and what you'll observe is the following. What is the relative price of clothing in autarky in India? It is 2400 divided by 800 and this will give you 3. So relative price of clothing in India is 3 units. And remember this is much higher than what we had for the US and for the US it was one half and simply based on these numbers you know US will export clothing and India will export food. So let us have this world price which is less than what we have in India when we have no trade when we have no trade so the relative world relative price of clothing is in the world is much lower than what it was in India when there is no trade or in other words the world price line here will be flatter than what we had for India in the case of autarky and based on what we know this point here will represent production equilibrium for India. So how much food will India produce? It will be 2400 units of food. How much clothing will India produce? It will be zero units of clothing. Now given this world price line the consumption equilibrium will happen at the point of tangency between community indifference curve for India and the world price line. So consumption choices or consumption decisions will be reflected through consumption equilibrium point. And in the case of India, 2000 units of clothing will be consumed and 300 units of food will be consumed. Now look at the following. India produces no clothing and it wants to consume 2000 units of clothing. So this 2000 units of clothing will represent imports. My pen is doing funny things. Imports of India. What about food? You, India will produce 2400 units of food but they will consume only 300 units of food under free trade or they will have a surplus of 2100 units of food which will be exported to the US. I have reproduced the same diagram for India with international trade and what you'll observe is the following. Number one in this case because we have constant cost principle what you find is India just specializes in production of food and produces nothing of clothing and this is happening simply because we have a constant cost PPC. Number two what you realize is this community indifference curve is further away from the origin relative to what we had in autarky that means Indians are much better off with foreign trade than without it. Thank you for